Welcome back to the For You Fitness Podcast. If you haven't already checked out the first part of this interview, the episode where we discuss how to reverse the aging process with Dr. Verma, that is available. Continuing with her accolades, she is a medical consultant for the online publication, Greatest. She is a faculty speaker for American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine and Age Management Medicine Group. Dr. Verma has also been chosen to be an international goodwill ambassador for health and wellness, to be a champion and humanitarian and influencer for the rights of the underprivileged globally. Um, okay, so we talked a little bit about a little bit about food. Now let's go into your next pillar, stress. Yes. How does that impact this aging process? Well, it definitely speeds it up. I mean, when we talk about like telomere lengths and we're getting more into the molecular level, mm -hmm. stress, cortisol, that accelerates our aging process. Mm -hmm. It makes us release hormones that are more negative in the sense that they will affect youth mm -hmm. and um, they speed up that whole aging process. Mm -hmm. So everybody has stress in their life. Everybody does. So when I say you have to reduce stress, I know it's not, you know, it's like, I tell people it's, it's a life and death situation. Like if your job is truly going to kill you, if your job is truly going to kill you, then you need to look for something else. I always say, my personal and professional lives are intertwined. I love going to work and I love coming home from work and I do the same thing in both places mm -hmm. because what I practice is what I preach mm -hmm. and what I tell my patients to eat is what I do at home when I, when I give to my boys, what I tell my friends and my family. So minimizing stress is important. That's one of my four pillars. Mm -hmm. Find ways, even if it's 15 minutes a day, just like it's necessary to do exercise, to take time for yourself. Mm -hmm. At the end, it's just us. There's not gonna be your mother, your brother, your husband, your boyfriend, your kids. No one's gonna be there at the end with us. I mean, you're gonna have the support, but we're in it alone, right? Mm -hmm. And if you don't take time for yourself to care for yourself, then you can't, especially as a woman or a yes. mother, you can't care for others. Right. So I, I tell, you know, I tell my boys all the time, I said, it's important that I need time for myself. 15 minutes, I, I do meditation, I do that. Find something that you like to do. I tell people, put on some Zen music. Sure. Go in a room by yourself and just listen for 15 minutes. It's not about actually doing the whole meditation, right? right? Yeah. And I, for me, it's more it's simpler because I am of Eastern Indian origin. Mm -hmm. Say you're staying in the car and you have a long drive. Put on a good podcast, you know? Right. Listen to some calming music. Mm -hmm. Deep breaths. No, but think about how many times you've taken a deep breath in yes. a day. When you take a deep breath, it fills you up yes. and it releases endorphins, right? Yeah. Just like exercise does. Mm -hmm. Exercise is the most underutilized antidepressant and anti-anxiety agent. Mm -hmm. And same thing with acupuncture and all these type of, uh, you know, ancient kind of Eastern traditions. It's releasing those natural endorphins, which relieve pain, mm -hmm. which make you happy. Mm -hmm. So if you can find something, I just say 15 minutes a day, mm -hmm. do some yoga, mm -hmm. just find something. So, and then once you do it, you're gonna make it a habit. Absolutely, just being mindful. Mindfulness is key. And yes. I think we just, we get, we're always on the go, 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 go. We don't ever stop. Mm -hmm. And we're not promised tomorrow, so why are you doing this to yourself? Right. So take a moment. And I love the fact that, again, another thing that I love about you, you tell your boys, Mommy needs 15 minutes. Yeah. I, I, I'm up front, and I'm a, I, I give what I can to them. And I know I work a lot, and sometimes, you know, it's hard to explain to them, you know, that's my livelihood, and this is what I'm bringing home to you. But for me, because it defines so much who I, who, who I am, they see it. You know, they see that what I do at work is what I do at home and vice versa. So I think it's important to really make people in your life understand that as well. Like, I'm not wearing a different hat. I'm not being completely, I don't come home and do something different. I come home and I'm like, guys, I need to record an Instagram video. I'm gonna talk about making beet and celery juice. Right. And I have one of them filming me, or, you know. So it's, it's, you have to integrate it where it is you. It's a reflection of who you are. And you know, these days social media is so big, as we all know. Mm -hmm. And so there's always, you know, people like, oh, well, people only put the best side of them on social media. Of course, I mean, nobody wants to see you, but you have to also be real. Like, I'm all about inspiring people. I do a lot of inspirational quotes, and I'll do something as simple as like, oh, look, I'm using charcoal toothpaste today. This yeah. is an ancient Ayurvedic thing. And yeah. I grew up watching my parents using charcoal and using turmeric and ginger and doing yoga. And to me, my mom would explain to me, well, I'm going to give you golden milk because that's going to help you know help you sleep, yeah. or I'm going to give you some ginger and garlic that's going to help. And now this is what I do for my boys. And at that time, I didn't know it. Mm -hmm. But then as I got into integrative medicine mm -hmm. and Ayurveda, it's like, this is exactly what we've been doing in India for like 10,000 years. Even CBD or mm -hmm. medical cannabis, which is what I nationally lecture about, or I'm actually doing international lecturing on these things. And this is something that's an ancient plant. It's a sacred plant in Hinduism. You know, the Chinese and Indians have been using cannabis for 10,000 years. Mm -hmm. it's, it's allowing people to understand the history of why we're doing things, that there is a background. 
So in the Western world, we live in a new age world. We have to understand that. It's America's. This is new. This is the most, this is the most, I don't know, the most current of what we're doing when we look at the world, right? Mm-hmm. It was the last to kind of be inhabited and you know even the medical schools and everything it's just a century old that's it so when we're drawing upon even hippocrates and going to the eastern medicine it's actually looking at things that are thousands and thousands of years old and that's the true and tried basis of like our health and our lifestyle and optimal aging i don't like to say anti-aging because i want people to embrace aging and to understand that it's okay to age gracefully and to look amazing. Mm-hmm. But age is just a number. Absolutely. I mean, I do not feel my age at all. I, everything that I do, whether it's um, the clothes I wear, the music I listen to, I really still feel like I'm 25. But that's, I've created that t- type of sense. And I don't, I don't know, I just don't feel old. And well, your old. internal environment is, that's what it's about. Yes. I mean, you have three boys, mm-hmm. you run your own business, you do social media, you do A to Z, so there's no excuses for you as far as going back to the stress thing. You do something about it. There's no excuse. I mean, I'm a single mom raising three boys, you know. I mean, I, it's something that I have to do, and it's what I enjoy doing. And I think if you understand we all have a purpose in life, and we're all given tasks, then you're going to embrace it and you're going to attack it. I mean, I could sit there and sell And, you know, when I started my practice, I was telling you a little background. You know, I was going through a divorce, and my dad had passed away. And my this was about five and a half, six years ago. And at that moment, I said, I have to do something else different. I'm a traditional MD. I'm not happy with sitting there in an insurance-based environment for 15 minutes with a patient, giving them pharmaceuticals. So I looked for spaces, and I created um, Synergistic, and that was a rebirth of my soul. It was a rebirth of my spirit, Mm -hmm. and it was the essence of who I was. And I couldn't have been happier at that moment. And it's just blossomed from there. And and like I said, my goal is to just really spread the wealth of health. And by blogging, by doing the news, by doing these kind of Mm -hmm. podcasts, that's how I can get it out there. Mass education is what's important. Yeah, so She's blowing my mind right now. This mm-hmm. is amazing. Um, we did talk a little bit about this off screen. Yeah. Intermittent fasting. Yes. Does this play a role yes. in optimal health? Yes. So I actually, when I was a little girl, I would see my parents fast a couple times a week. Not understand, like, okay, why are they not eating? You're just having like, water. And then, mm-hmm. you know, and they and I always said, like, you don't do meat or you don't do any eggs or anything. So I grew up and not, I, I was like, okay, it's just a cleanse, right? But I practice intermittent fasting, and that's a real big thing now. I think a lot of people are getting into that, and I promote that with my patients. Mm -hmm. It gives the body a break, and it allows the body to not be overwhelmed. Because think about how much food we eat. Think about our caloric intake, right? It's overwhelming. If you've ever watched Super Size Me, you'll understand. Mm -hmm. Like We are given these portions that were thought to be normal. Mm -hmm. So they say when you get served in a restaurant, pack three (laughs) three quarters of it, put it aside, eat that quarter and take it home. We are given way too much. We have the high sodium, caloric intake. Mm -hmm. So what intermittent fasting does is it allows the body to divert its energy and its mechanisms to preserving cellular health instead of trying to break down food that's so hard to digest and is is so toxic to the body. Mm -hmm. You know, things like high fructose, corn syrup, or dairy, or meat. Mm -hmm. So when you intermittent fast or fast, you can can do it and it depends on how, what level you want to take it. So for me, breakfast is really important. I know with intermittent fasting, a lot of people will go to sleep and not eat anything and maybe start at noon or mm-hmm. one. For me, I like to wake up. I do the first thing I do is warm lemon water with mm-hmm. baking soda and some Indian kind of herbs in there. Then I'll go work out. I always love working out in the morning. And then I will make a plant-based smoothie mm-hmm. and that's my breakfast. I have no desire to really eat throughout the day, maybe because I'm so busy, but I just don't, I don't really want to eat. And I feel like that that's a time to give my body some downtime mm-hmm. and I might snack a little I'll do some you know hummus some carrots some celery mm-hmm. some plant-based mm-hmm. kind of options and then I like dinner but I keep it light mm-hmm. and then I won't eat after say seven o'clock because mm-hmm. what do we do at nighttime we kind of settle down for the day you want to go to sleep and then our metabolism shuts down so and that's when people have reflux and all these things so they eat and they go to sleep right well, really if you think about it of course because the food's kind of going back in your reclined position mm-hmm. so when you intermittent fast you kind of pick a time frame, six hours, eight hours, 12 hours, and see what works for you. And then there, some people take it more to the extreme and do fasting where they just don't eat or they're doing a water cleanse right. because it improves their brain cognition right. and brain clarity. Right. Again, you have to find, always you have to talk to a knowledgeable practitioner. Yes. That's what I have to say. Don't try things on your own. There's so much out there. I call it Dr. Google, mm-hmm. and it's dangerous. There's a lot of things out there that, you know, people yeah. come to me and I'm like, no, don't, you yeah. know. That's my job as a physician is to do the research and to present to you the information. And I encourage my parent, my patients, they email me all the time and they say, oh, Dr. Verma, I read this, can you tell me? And I'll say, okay, clearly this is what you need to do and Absolutely. I'll give them the right answer. Absolutely, so it's a, 
it's a fast and feast approach yes. kind of to it, yes. you know, allowing your body. The You said the regeneration of cells, that's called autophagy, correct? Uh, yeah, autophagy. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's just another benefit to why your skin will glow and, you know, yes. why you will feel fantastic and why you will just feel so naturally energetic because you don't, your body's doing what it's supposed to be right. doing. You're, di you're not using up those processes that need to go for those cellular mm -hmm. energy reactions mm -hmm. to breaking down un unnecessary food. And also low caloric intake. And if, if you don't want to do intermittent fasting, it's saying, I don't need 3,000 calories a day. It's 1,200, 1,500, 1,800 calories. That's what I need. And choosing the proper foods, and then you can do it that way. Mm -hmm. So you have to really see what's going to benefit you. And then staying hydrated, absolutely. you know, and yeah. just getting good information. Yeah, the water aspect. Yeah. Right. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we're all going to have vices, and, yeah. you know, I don't think, I'm not looking to tell people to give up everything, because being human is to enjoy things in life. Absolutely. So when I talk about a vice, like, you know, my vice, I say, and I don't know, is I still do drink alcohol, mm -hmm. but I do clean. Like my restriction on alcohol is I don't do dairy. I don't do, sh do sugar. I don't mm -hmm. do the juices. I do clean organic vodka, put a little lemon. I put some apple cider vinegar mm -hmm. and I just love my San Germain, which is elderflower. That's yes. my drink. Mm -hmm. And I detox while I'm drinking. So I take supplements, mm -hmm. um, which are physician regulated pharmaceutical grade. They're mm -hmm. not just over the counter vitamins. Mm -hmm. That's another whole topic, but yes, absolutely. But that I like doing that stuff. So you can understand that you can do those things, but yes. you can still cleanse yourself while doing it. It's still quality. Yeah. So I think we do lose sight of that when we do indulge in sweets and, and do alcohol, we forget that we're so, we really care about what we're eating, mm -hmm. but then what about what we're drinking too? Right. So when people grab it, some of those juices look great, but mm -hmm. then I, you know, someone told me the other day, he was like, well, I'm drinking this bottled juice, you know? And I'm like, okay, did you look at how much sugar? Mm -hmm. Well, there's 33 grams of sugar in it. Look at the fillers and the additives. Yeah. So I tell my people, just make a fresh juice at home. Yes. Because you can, you can also save money too. That's yeah, a great thing too, right? Yeah. Really fresh, you, know, you just blend your juice. Um, you don't have to have a fancy cold pressing machine. I have a blend tech blender and I just throw in beets and celery and carrots right. and I make fresh juice. Right. And I'll do like four to six ounces a day because I'm aware of, I don't want to do a high glycemic load. So as you do it more, it becomes a habit. Yes. It becomes a discipline. Yes. And then it's just so natural. And I travel so much and I integrate that when I'm traveling. Mm -hmm. And I look for places that have gyms if I don't, they don't have it, then I'm going to get my resistance bands. Right. So for me, working out, eating clean is a habit. Mm -hmm. And it's a part of my life. And if I don't do it, it's not me. And I don't feel right. And be, I think I, I think you don't know how good you're going to feel until you feel good. Mm. People are just, I think, complacent with how they feel. Yeah. And you don't know how much better you can feel until you're there. And I have so many patients, oh my God, I didn't know I could feel that much better. Absolutely. And I always say, don't compare yourself to anybody else. You just have to be the best you've ever been. Mm -hmm. Create a healthier and happier version of your existence. That's it. Well then, yeah. on that That's note, the is there one simple tip that you can provide to the listeners how they can start today as far as optimizing their health for skin, beauty, whatever it is, you know, reversing that aging process. One simple tip. What would you, what would you offer to them? I would say look at, start with what you're, the food that you're putting in your mouth. Food is your safest form of medicine or it's your slowest form of poison. Mm -hmm. Let food be thy medicine. And Hippocrates has tons of sayings. All disease begins in the gut. Start with that because you ideally will not develop any disease process or need any medications if food is your medicine. Mm -hmm. So start with that and then worry down the road, or not worry, but then look at things like weight loss and detox. That will come mm -hmm. with it. Because again, following clean diets, you automatically will have radiant skin. You're gonna have weight loss. You're gonna detox naturally. And aesthetics is something that I recently introduced to my practice mm -hmm. because I always say vanity is sanity. Mm -hmm. And though I am, I tout being natural, I do understand sometimes we want quick fixes. Mm -hmm. And I do feel like when we look in the mirror, which we all do every day, we wanna be happy with who we see. And if we're not, then we're not gonna to wanna to take care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. So if one day we wake up and we say, wow, I actually like the way I look, or I actually fit into those jeans that I couldn't fit into last month, then you're gonna to wanna to eat healthy. You're gonna to wanna to go to the gym. When you feel good, who doesn't wanna exercise? That motivation. Like you're gonna look cute in those workout pants. It might be something so petty and trivial, mm -hmm. and it's for men and women, I mean, if we look at now how much of us are into fitness and diet, it's 50-50. And my practice is 50-50 men and women. My mm -hmm. average age is probably 30 to 60. Mm -hmm. But I do see children and I see the elderly. Everybody wants to feel good. 
And I say, instead of being reactive, be proactive. In traditional medicine, we're reactive because we feel good for the first two, three decades of our life. Then I see after 35, there is a downhill slope mm -hmm. where people are just, you know, starting to recognize that midlife crisis is starting to approach. Mm -hmm. They start getting that mid-weight gain, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody always comes into me like, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. Adrenal fatigue, their thyroid issues, their hormone issues. So I do all that testing. Mm -hmm. And I say, if we can start things earlier, then we won't even let those things surface. And so, so many people ask me, well, well, Dr. Verma, why are you doing all these things? Or why are you taking these supplements? Why are you taking peptides, for example, if you have amazing hair and nails and mm -hmm. skin? And I say, because I don't want to get to the point where I have to tell myself, uh-oh, my hair is thinning, my nails are breaking. So I'm doing preventative things. I'm being proactive. So I started in my practice with aesthetics. I'm doing RF microneedling. I'm doing mm -hmm. laser treatments. Mm -hmm. I'm doing things that will... They're not, they're not surgical, right. but they're non-surgical cosmetic alternatives that make people feel good. Like I, two days ago, a patient came in and I was um, microneedling her face and she looks amazing. She's 43. I mean, she looks like, she looks just amazing. She has two girls. Um, they're grown up. They're like 19 and 21. And she just looks amazing as a mom, mm -hmm. as a wife. And then at the end, she goes, you know what? I just, I feel like I have some wrinkles, you know, and I sleep on this side. Can I just get some, uh, I do Xeomin. It's like Botox equivalent. And mm -hmm. I might not do it myself, but I carry it for my patients because I'm going to offer that to them. And then she was also on that journey where she healed her thyroid and her autoimmune condition. And after a year, she told me, she goes, I never felt better. And she goes, for 20 years of my life, I was struggling and no one told me what was wrong with me. And I'm not taking credit or anything, but sure. I'm, I always tell people I'm going to guide you. Yes. And I am so grateful, immensely just truly grateful that people trust me so much to guide them on their wellness journey. And yes, I'm an MD and it's cool, mm -hmm. but people are literally putting their life in my hands mm -hmm. and saying, here, Dr. Verma, I'm fed up with traditional medicine. I'm mm -hmm. sick and tired of being tired and sick. Mm -hmm. And you know, the cool thing is because I was a traditional MD, I've been on that side of the fence. So I know what it was to treat patients like that and to be that, to be that person. Mm -hmm. But I have to say, like, I want to be a walking testament. I'm not on wood. I never had a medical condition. I've never taken any pharmaceuticals. And yeah, I take, I take like 15 supplements a day, but I take what's right for me because I've done genetic testing. I've yeah. done my labs. I know my family history. So in my consults, I sit down with my patients for 90 minutes and I go through a very, very intense and rigorous, um, in-depth analysis with them. And they fill out forms on my website and there's a lot of information on my website. So people will gather all that. And I offer IV services and bioidentical hormones and aesthetics. And I have a hyperbaric chamber and I have a PEMF mat and a sauna and fitness is part of it too. That's yeah. you know, what I really wanted to integrate. So yeah, it's a lot. She's a holistic goddess, folks. Um, so tell our listeners where they can find you because I'm going to go see you next. Yes, that's awesome. Yes, yeah. I love it, Nina. So, well, you can on Facebook, you, if you go under Synergistic Health, I'm definitely there and I post on there. Instagram handle is Dr. Deepa Verma MD, and I also have a Synergistic Dr. Verma MD. So, those are my two big ones. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm there on Twitter uh, as well uh, under Dr. Deepa Verma. You know, my website's huge. I think the website is where people will get all the information on. I do a lot of blogging and yes. because I appear on the local, you know, Bay News 9 as a medical consultant. Mm -hmm. So, but my website will have everything there. You can read the testimonials. I'll have links to my videos. Yeah. But definitely check out the Facebook and the Instagram pages because I, I put a lot of good tidbits on there. And you will learn something with each and one of my posts, I'll, whether it's a video or a picture. There's always a medical thing on there. So, you know, I did something on cilantro last week. And yes, I, you know, I saw just that. Cute little things. You yes. know, like that kind of stuff. Quick tips. Quick. Less than a minute. Minute. So, I'll, right. you know, you're not going to yes. get bored. You're not going to want to do something else. Yes. I try to capture your attention. But th these are pearls. And I think they're really worth looking at. So, you'll learn a lot. Why should you use charcoal toothpaste? Why oh, my gosh. You, you know. Those little things. Why do we need celery and beet juice? Those kind mm -hmm. of things, yeah. Those little things that make the biggest impact. Yes, it's making a big impact. That's why I say it's, you start small and mm -hmm. it, it's the amplification of those, you know, things that have it amplifies. You think about how many people you're reaching and it's spreading the wealth of health, that's what I say. Yeah. Pause. Cheers, yeah. 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 Something happened. Wow. Wow, I know. Something wrong. Has to be Can you repeat what you said about spreading the my goal is to really, Nina, you know, spread the wealth of health. It's just if you think of things amplifying, you know, taking it to the nth degree, is you start small and then from there the next person is going to tell three people, then ten people, then twenty people. And I will tell you, I have to say, this was the most impressive thing that I felt like when I looked back on how my practice grew. It was all word of mouth. I didn't do any advertising in the beginning at all. I mean, I appeared on the news here and there, but it was, I didn't make the effort. I was so content with sitting in my office and 
I ran that office for three years on my own. Like I didn't have anybody. There was no staff there because that was my baby. And I started with <laughs> no money. And I thought to myself, oh my gosh, how am I going to pay the rent? It just, within six months, because people said, it's going to take 18 months, 24 months. You're going to, you know, and I'm like, no, no, no. And then within six months, something just miraculous happened. And to this day, it is all word of mouth. I mean, now there's more social media and stuff. But I have patients around the country. Most of my practice, a third of my practice are actually people who are not local to me. Mm -hmm. They're from New York to Chicago to LA. Mm -hmm. Um, It's almost like telemedicine, I think you would say. Um, But someone feels good, they're gonna tell their family member, oh, my family member lives in Pennsylvania, can you take care of them? Mm -hmm. And I can do everything without seeing that person. Mm -hmm. You're just not sitting in front of me, but I can FaceTime or Skype with you and I can see you. But anything that you need, I will send you the lab kits, I'll send you the supplements because I can, because it's just easy to do that. Because a lot of these companies are also around the country as well, too. Mm-hmm. So it's not, and I have things in my office, I'll just mm-hmm. ship them to you. Absolutely. So it's really easy. Guys, I'm sitting here and you could just feel the energy coming off of her as, as far as how much she cares about this. And again, just, she's a referral driven business. And just on that alone, you can tell your passion, your love for just spreading the, the health of wealth, all of that. That's, that's what we're aiming to do as well. So we appreciate you so much for doing this for us. Um, guys, make sure to find her on all of those, those platforms. I will link those um, as well in our show notes. Um, but before you do that, please make sure to rate, review, and subscribe our For You Fitness podcast. Again, we do this for you. We want to bring you the latest and greatest information so that you can optimize your health. Dr. Verma, thank you so much. Thanks, Dana. Thank yeah. you so much. Absolutely.